So hi guys, so, very good evening all of you. Welcome back. We are looking at uh, marginal costing and decision making problems in that uh, before the break we have seen problem number 12 and 13. Now let us see problem number 14. Simple problem, a problem based on opportunity cost. I'm sure you might have studied this concept of opportunity cost in your economics. And also in uh, costing you might have studied that. Okay. In my personal opinion, the whole costing comes from economics only. Okay, maybe there is no much nexus between financial management and economics, but costing and economics are almost same. That is the reason whatever the cost behavior you study in costing, now, you call it fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, cost curves, you know, experience curves, you know, or uh, any advanced concept of costing also if you go at the CA final level majority of them have the roots to the economics you have already studied in your foundation and inter. Chalo, anyway, let us see this. A company can make any one of the three products. Oh my God. You can make only one of the three products. So X, Y or Z in a year. It can exercise its option only at the beginning of each year. So this year, if you commit to one product, full year, you have to manufacture that product only. So we'll see the relevant information about the products for the next year is given below. Selling price 10, 12, 12. Variable cost 6, 9, 7. Market demand units 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Production capacity units 2,000, 3,900. One interesting thing. Look at these two lines for product X. Initially, we look for product X. What is the market demand? 3000 units that means that means if i manufacture 3000 units market can absorb it i can sell it in the market but my production capacity is 2000 units only no can i sell 3000 units market conditions say yes but i cannot manufacture na? so what is the maximum i can sell lower of this or this isn't it isn't it? In market, I will be able to sell 3000 units, but I cannot manufacture in my factory. That is the problem with X. Now, if you look at Y, market demand is 2000, but I can manufacture 3000. If market is not absorbing my production, why will I produce? Then supply will be more. Demand is not there. So here, though I have excess production capacity, I will not produce 3000 units because in that case, 1000 will be dead inventory for me. So here also I will manufacture 2000 only. Third case, market can absorb a demand of 1000, but I have production capacity of 900. Simple, possible, possible sale is lower of market demand and production capacity. What is the possible sale or possible profit you call, possible contribution you call, it is lower of market demand and production capacity. Fixed cost 30,000. Irrelevant whether you manufacture X or manufacture Y or manufacture Z. Fixed cost is irrelevant. Fixed cost is irrelevant. So fixed cost 30,000. It is irrelevant. Compute the opportunity cost for each of the products. Oh my God. Compute the opportunity cost. What is opportunity cost? Contribution foregone. Opportunity cost is the contribution foregone. Okay. Now look at product X. Can you tell me what is the contribution? 4, 10 minus 6. So we will prepare like this. Tan, 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 tan. Particulars, product X, Y, Z. You cannot write a total column because you are not manufacturing all the three, my dear friend. You can manufacture any of these three. So even by mistake, don't put total column, okay, like an idiot. Selling price, 10, 12, 12. Less variable cost, 6, 9, 7. Contribution. 
four rupees. It should be three rupees, and it should be five rupees. Possible contribution. So we'll write sales lower of market demand and production capacity. Who is MD? Managing director. PC Priyanka Chopra. No, MD means market demand. PC means production capacity. Sales is the lower of these two. So two thousand, two thousand nine hundred. The maximum contribution or total contribution, you can say contribution per unit and a number of units. Maximum contribution or total contribution from product. Each product. So here eight thousand, you will get. Six thousand, you will get four thousand five hundred. You will get. Now you tell me using your common sense which product you will manufacture. Simple conclusion. It is advisable to manufacture product X since the contribution is maximum. Since the contribution is maximum. Okay. Now wait. I have a general knowledge doubt. What the hell is this? The company can make three products. It can exercise it. Oh, no. But the next year is given below fixed cost thirty thousand. Shameless guy. Which company this is? Or who great person wrote this question? Your contribution is eight thousand. Fixed cost is thirty thousand. Are you kidding me? Why will I run this company? This company should be liquidated, dude. At least, if they have given these are monthly data, then fixed cost is annual cost. Still, it makes sense. So then we can say, okay, every month I'll get eight thousand rupees, and annual fixed cost is thirty thousand. So probably I'll get ninety six thousand contribution, eight thousand into twelve minus thirty thousand. Still, I'll have sixty six thousand. But something like that we can do. Now I feel this problem is a stupid problem, isn't it? Sir, whenever we open a textbook, many problems we feel they are stupid problems. Sir, why, sir? That is because you are stupid. Okay, but this problem is actually stupid problem. That is what I am thinking. So anyway, chalo. So this is the maximum contribution you can earn. So it is advisable to manufacture product X since the contribution is maximum. Now, if you are manufacturing X, what is your opportunity cost? The highest of the contribution foregone. It cannot be. Sir, six thousand I am losing. Four thousand five hundred I am losing. Ten thousand five hundred, sir. No, no. You cannot add the contribution of all. You know uh, the options you are foregoing. For example, for example, after becoming a chartered accountant, you got a job. Okay. So, so PwC, you got a job. They said eight lakhs they'll give. Infosys, you got a job. They said nine lakhs they'll give. earn standing they said 7 lakh 85000 they imagine just campus placement this three and you got offer letter from all the three sir beautiful assumption sir yeah i know so you obviously will accept infosys now sector wise is also good company wise is also good okay any day working in industry is better than working in audit firm no isn't it But all of them first to start their career in audit firm. After that, maybe two three years they will jump. That is also a good option actually. So you joined Infosys. Now what is your opportunity cost you have foregone because you accepted job in Infosys by rejecting jobs in PwC and DY? You cannot say, sir, eight lakhs plus a seven lakhs eighty five thousand, fifteen lakhs eighty five thousand. I have foregone, sir. Idiot. No. It is only eight lakhs. Your opportunity cost is the highest of the contributions you have foregone. You understand? So here, what is the opportunity cost? Six thousand. So since product X is made and sold, comma, the opportunity cost is the highest of contributions foregone. Highest of contributions. That means six thousand from product Y. This is the opportunity cost for manu for manufacturing product X. By manufacturing product X, you are foregoing contribution from Y and Z. 
but you will take only the highest that's all this is the problem compute the opportunity cost ho gaya so i'm seriously thinking am i missing any loop am am i missing anything a company can make any of the three products okay it can exercise its option at the beginning of year okay relevant information about the product for the next year full year full year 10 6 then i will say 4 rupees contribution 2000 units i manufacture 8000 units 8000 rupees i'll get 30000 rupees fixed cost i am unable to digest this but of course anyway fixed cost is irrelevant for decision making or maybe we'll remove one zero fixed cost 3000 still problem makes some sense i don't know so you understand problem number 14 any doubts